Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran. I'm Pastor Todd Matheson. As we are about to turn our calendars over to the month of April, my focus, certainly as a pastor, turns toward Easter, more specifically, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is the core of our Christian faith, that Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Man, fully human and fully divine, died for our sin, and powerfully rose from his tomb with the promise of new life now and everlasting life to come. Many in our culture believe this to be true. Many more do not. I have a dear friend who is not a Christian, and while he doesn't deride me about my faith in a risen Jesus, I know he doesn't believe Jesus rose from the tomb, let alone is the Savior of the world. It stems from his reliance on what he can see, test, and validate. The resurrection of Jesus from the grave is really beyond scientific inquiry. It requires faith and a belief that miracles can and do happen. We shouldn't be surprised that the world around us doesn't value Easter or Jesus the way you and I do. It doesn't make sense to them. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Greeks. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. That's what we preach here at Victory Lutheran, Jesus Christ crucified and risen. And that resonates to the very depths of our souls, we who are being saved. For those who are not, for much of the world, it just isn't credible. And they might think it's actually a bit crazy. Today, for you, if in your heart, the declaration that Jesus died and rose again for you fills you with inexpressible hope, then rejoice. This good news is for you. Don't doubt it. Embrace it. And let it fill each day with joy and meaning. If you have family or friends who do not believe, continue to love them. Don't deride them. And pray for God to open their hearts to believe what to them seems unbelievable right now. But God is the one who opens the heart to saving faith in Jesus. We just need to let our lives and our words show the reality of God's love for everyone shown in the crucified and risen Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for calling us through your gospel. Jesus, you are that gospel, that good news. Holy Spirit, you enlighten our hearts and you, you, you give us faith. So we claim that today the truth that Jesus is our crucified and risen Lord. And help us to love others around us who, who don't believe in you yet, Jesus, that you might even use us to point them to you and have you save them. Be glorified in us, Lord Jesus. This day, I ask in your precious name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today for Daily Hope. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.